Every Friday is a very special Friday for me on my German channel. It's the Polish Beer Friday. You want to know what it is? I'll tell you about this in six seconds. Hey, hi, and welcome to another edition of Pro Beer TV, tasting beers from all around the world. And uh, my name is Martin, and I'm welcoming you here from my little man cave right in the heart of Vienna in Austria. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, I taste uh, beers from all around the world, uh, especially from Europe, mostly uh, sometimes from the US. But every Friday on my German uh, speaking channel, there's the Polish Beer Friday. So uh, I have a Polish beer every Friday. And this is uh, because I really felt in love with the Polish craft beer scene. This is so uh, such a vibrant scene and so many good breweries out there. Very, very good uh, recipes, very, very strong hoppy beers and uh, yeah I really love uh, Polish beers and this is why I like to promote a little bit Polish breweries uh, to my German audience and um, now I include you and um, just present this beer um, to you. It's from a, a brewery from Poznan, Posen and um, it's their rock and roller. It's Brova Kingpin and um, the beer is an American pale ale and it's made from uh, five hop varieties from the US. Uh, it's Chinook, Simcoe, Amarillo, Citra and Cascade and uh, the um, malt they used is pale ale malt and Cara Clear. I've never heard of that um, beer, uh, that, that malt, but uh, it's on the malt bill, Cara Clear. Okay, might be a, may, maybe it's a light Cara malt, uh, I have no idea. Um, additionally, um, they have um, orange peel and lemon verbena, um, or verbena, lemon verbena, um, and of course yeast. It's a Savale US 05. So um, I, as far as uh, my home brewing knowledge goes, this is a very classic standard um, ale yeast. But uh, as you can see in the glass, we have a nice uh, golden yellow color, um, white foam on top, um, nice lacing on the glass, uh, haziness to um, yeah, a higher level. Uh, not too much carbonation visible uh, in the glass, but that's due to the haziness. Let's check the aroma. Oh, it's orange, citrusy, tropical, like mango, mar uh, passion fruit, um, some grainy, and um, a little bit of bread and fresh hops. Oh, I really like this one. Let's dive into this one. Cheers. Mm. It starts with sweet malt, um, very fruity, lots of this bitter orange peel, um, very nice bitterness. And the, really, the bitterness gets stronger and stronger with every zip. Um, light acidity, um, some spiciness, but uh, to a rather lower level. Very good balanced, easy drinking and soft, a uh, medium mouth feel and some pine in the back. So there's everything you would expect from an American pale ale, which of course is mainly due to the five um, American hop varieties being used. And um, as I mentioned before, they are really the classic ones. I hope you agree on this. Um, medium body, medium carbonation, and uh, rather soft, um, decent uh, texture. And uh, in the finish, we, we have some um, reduced bitterness. It's not uh, too bitter anymore. Um, it's getting a little bit uh, softer, uh, more fruitiness um, comes up, and yeah, it stays soft, and some sweetness develops as well. So I really like this one. It's a very good example for good Polish beers. Um, and as far as I know, it's their first beer they ever brewed, the recipe, not this bottle, of course. Uh, it's the Rock and Roller Pale Ale brewed, uh, brewed by Browa Kingpin from Poznan in Poland. So that's it for today. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And if you speak a tiny little bit of German, please um, be feel free to visit my German speaking channel and uh, check out every Friday a Polish beer and I try to bring some of the brews as well here on the English channel. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed. Please do not forget to subscribe and see you later 
um, with another beer here on my channel. Until then, cheers.